circular breathing is easy. And to prove it, I'm going to circular breathe for the entirety of this video while I show you how to do it. Starting right about now. Alrighty, because I am sure a few of you are wondering what the heck circular breathing is, it's a technique used by various wind instrument musicians that lets them produce a continuous stream of air while simultaneously allowing them to breathe. This ultimately lets us produce a consistent sound without needing to stop to breathe. You might be going, what? How does someone breathe in while simultaneously breathing out? Well, it's actually super lame. While exhaling into our instrument, we build up a storage of air in our cheeks. When we need to breathe, we transition from exhaling to using our cheek muscles to expel the air that we have previously stored there. While this occurs, we breathe in through our nose. It's a pretty simple idea that takes just a little bit of practice to get the hang of. Basically, what it comes down to is if you can hold air in your cheeks while simultaneously breathing through your nose, you can circular breathe. That's all there is to it. Just try it right now. You know, puff up your cheeks with air and breathe in through your nose. There we go. Those are the two essential things and you have just mastered them. But let's learn it step by step. All right, so step one, fill your cheeks with air. Now smack the air out. Step two, fill your cheeks with air, smack the air out, and while you do, quickly breathe in through your nose. Step three, Quit hitting yourself. Now, fill your cheeks with air, but this time gently apply pressure to your cheeks so that the air comes out in a steady stream. There, that's better. Now, step four. Fill your cheeks with air. Once again, you will gently apply pressure to your cheeks so that the air comes out in a consistent stream. While you do this, breathe in through your nose. Step five. Fill your cheeks with air. Instead of applying pressure with your hands, this time you will use your cheek muscles to expel the air in a continuous stream. Step 6. Fill your cheeks with air. Use your cheek muscles to expel the air in a continuous stream, and then while you do this, breathe in through your nose. Boom. If you can do this, the core principle of circular breathing has been learned. Now, the fun begins. Step 7. Take a deep breath. Then exhale at a slow yet steady rate. While exhaling, slowly fill up your cheeks with air. Before you run out of air, stop exhaling, but before you've completely stopped exhaling, dovetail into using your cheek muscles to expel the air you've stored in your cheeks. Work on matching the airstream from your cheeks to the airstream from your lungs. We are not breathing in at all yet at this step. Step 8. We are going to do the same thing as in step 7. Except this time, that's right, you guessed it, as we expel the air from our cheeks, we're going to take a quick breath in through our nose. If you suddenly feel like you can't breathe or you are choking when you attempt this step, go back and practice steps 1 through 6 again. Step 9, the final step. Take a deep breath. Exhale in a steady stream, and as you do so, fill your cheeks with air. Before you run out of air, dovetail into expelling the air from your cheeks. While you expel air from your cheeks, quickly breathe in through your nose. Before you have completely run out of air in your cheeks, switch back to using air from your lungs. Rinse and repeat. That's it. That's all there is to it. When you can do this, you can circular breathe. Now let's check back in on how I am doing. Before we apply it to an instrument, first grab a glass of water and a straw. Seltzer water is cheating. You can't use that. Now, if you have a normal sized straw like I do, go ahead and pinch it. This is going to create some resistance that will mimic your instrument. Now we are going to go through the same process we did as in step 9, except this time we will be using the water and straw as a kind of visual guide. The continuation of the bubbles, or lack of continuation, is going to let us know if we are doing it right. It will help you see if the air is actually continuing in a consistent manner as you move from exhaling to expelling the air from your cheeks and back. Seeing the bubbles while you breathe is fun and rewarding. However, please do not try this with milk. After you can consistently keep blowing the bubbles, it's time to try it on an instrument. Start by trying to do it on an easy, free-blowing note for your instrument. For clarinet, a good note is open G.
Again, you are going through the same process as step nine. Some additional tips that might help. Don't wait until you're almost out of air to begin the circular breathing process. I usually start the process when my lungs are at maybe 40 to 50% capacity. For me, this makes it a little easier to transition between using the air from my lungs to using the air from my cheeks. It also ensures that I don't run out of air too fast. You will probably notice as you circular breathe while holding only one note that there will be a little bump or waver in the sound. While we can practice to reduce how noticeable this is, it's best to circular breathe over moving notes. As soon as you feel comfortable playing the open G, transition to playing scales in the lower register. Pick a scale that is relatively mindless so you can focus on the process of circular breathing. Eventually expand the scale's range and get used to circular breathing in the more difficult parts of the instrument. The resistance may be different, but the core principles will always be the same. It just takes time to get used to. Additionally, you might run into a scenario in which uh, you begin the circular breathing process, you've expanded your cheeks, you're starting to contract them as you breathe in, and suddenly the sound cuts out from your instrument altogether. This is generally because you have compressed the reed, you've essentially bitten down as you started to compress your cheeks, and you've closed off the reed and mouthpiece uh, opening point. To fix this, I like to focus on keeping my uh, corners pulled in and my embouchure in a very circular position, like I am whistling or uh, maybe more topically like I am blowing bubbles through a straw. And I would like to say, just because this is a relatively easy concept, doesn't mean you don't have to practice it. Don't be frustrated if this takes you two or three weeks before you've really started to get the hang of it. Just keep going through the aforementioned steps, and eventually things will start to click. Well, if you've made it this far, congratulations. Now, go out into the world with your newfound skill and knowledge. Be that fish tank aerator you always wanted to be, that infinite balloon filler, or perhaps an endless bubble wand blower. Whatever your dream, you now have the tools necessary to make it a reality. I guess you could also make some music. Either way, thanks for watching, and happy practicing. Oh wow, it looks like I'm still going. Why don't we speed this up a little bit and see just how far I go. In the meantime, if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and check out my Instagram account for sneak peeks at upcoming videos. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>